Hi everybody, it's Ben behind the camera right now, and what you are looking at is a BMS board from a Mitsubishi iMeV or iMev or however you want to pronounce it, uh, a Mitsubishi electric car. So this was a battery management system board that went directly onto four of the cells in the car. They're all built together as, as modules like that. Here is one of the individual cells. This is a 50 amp hour lithium cell. This is completely discharged. When I got the car, um, the entire battery pack was completely discharged. It was at basically zero volts. Uh, so I pulled two of the four packs of cells out. Um, the one I'm doing some testing on, the other, uh, which these are parts from, I took completely apart. I literally uh, washed that in my bathtub and disassembled it and then uh, scrubbed everything down really good with the this uh, old yucky toothbrush, which is of course labeled so nobody brushes their teeth with it. Um, but if you look at this BMS board, we're going to get a close-up here, see if we can uh, point a few things out, see if I can uh, stay in focus, operate a video camera, and point all at the same time. Anyways, up on this end, that's where the connector goes from the, uh, the battery pack's wire harness to the BMS board. And if you look in there, it, it wasn't too terribly corroded. Um, not great, but not god-awful either. Um, when I was examining this board, when it was still covered with rust and all, one thing that was uh, pretty noticeable was right here, this capacitor was blown. You can still see marks from where the uh, stuff oozed out of it. Another thing you can notice, um, any of these holes, uh, these had screws that went into the, the positive end of the individual cells. So if you look at these, there's actually five of those holes. One, two, three, four, five, and they're, they're not symmetrical. And the reason why is um, it goes to the negative on the one end of the pack and then to the, uh, the positive of uh, each cell. And it looks like the little microprocessor in there then um, does the, the math, the comparison to figure out what the actual voltage is of each cell. You can also see that this pad where that screw goes through is completely isolated from the rest of the board. It's a, a separate piece and it's held on by like three little dabs of kind of like a like a silicon, something like that, and see if maybe we can get a little better view. So it's kind of like a silicon here and here. A little dab of silicon. And then it's connected to the rest of the board by this thing. And if you look really close, what that is, is it's a little teeny tiny resistive heater element. So it looks like the way this board works is for the cell balancing, that's a, that's a resistor that creates a little tiny bit of heat. So when this entire thing is charged in series, um, that microprocessor can do the math and say, uh-oh, this cell, this is getting full. So it kind of shunts off a little bit of power uh, through heat. And this is an air-cooled battery pack, so it actually has uh, a fan and air that runs over this whole thing to cool that. Although with the corrosion, really cleaning that up um, is challenging because it's just these little bare wires. So that part was rusty, and where these screw holes were really rusty. And then as for the rest of it, let's see if we can get in close on maybe that microprocessor. I don't know how well this is going to come in video or not, but um, these are very small uh, chips. You know, here's there's my pinky finger. You know, it's not that big sort of a thing. But if you can see right along here, all these little leads that go from the circuit board to this chip, um, they're tiny. They're little tiny, tiny leads on all four sides. Same on this chip, these little teeny, 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 tiny leads. And there's definitely corrosion on there. Uh, from the salt water that got inside the battery pack. So I think even if I wash this board really, really good and dry it in a toaster oven or, or whatever, um, to me, that doesn't look like those chips are going to work because of that corrosion and all those little teeny, 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 tiny connections. Now, on the other hand, I'm no electronics expert. So if you've worked on something like this before and you say, 
you know, if you just scrub that down a little bit more, it would probably work fine. Let me know. But as far as my electronics experience goes, um, that does not look so good. And of course, this board is one of uh, 22 that are in the battery pack. And besides the BMS and the cells, also in the battery pack are other um, a couple other circuit boards that were also completely unprotected. So rebuilding this battery pack as stock is probably really, really, really unlikely. Now, on the other hand, I have been doing some testing with one of these lithium cells. Um, I'm using a kind of a fancy lithium charger that's designed specifically for charging lithium and being able to tweak the charge cycle. And at a 40 amp charge and discharge, I'm having some pretty good results on just the first cell that I'm testing right now, um, it's giving me about a 40 amp hour capacity on the cell with my current settings. So I feel good that there may be some possibility of reusing these lithium cells. So until next time, check back in at uh, 300mpg.org and uh, see where this project's going.